You, you, I mean, if I was going to throw something at you, would you rather me throw a raspberry and a strawberry or gravy? <laughs> Fruit feels cleaner. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Did you have a nice Sunday roast? It was delicious. I'm absolutely stuffed. I'm stuffed, yeah. <laughs> it was very good, though. It you was very lamb. nice. Lamb, and Did you, you have, had... I had a beef. I always have beef. Beef. Well, I mean, what's what makes a Sunday dinner for you? What's the perfect Sunday oh, dinner? That's a, what is in, like, what's the defining factor? Like, if you were going to design the most perfect Sunday dinner, like a UK pub Sunday dinner... Lamb. Would... Yeah. My nan used to make lamb chops, like little lamb chops. Aren't chop they like things. The, the worst one? I thought chops were like the the runt. Oh, thanks. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no I was very that. excited when we had them. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were lamb chops. I love lamb chops. They're well I nice. think it's how you cook them, though, isn't it? Like you can cook lamb chops really well. They were very nice. And then I would also have some carrots. But like, I like mashed carrots, you know? Yeah, like carrot, carrot mash. Yeah. Carrot no, and no, swede mash. No, not like. Carrot mash, because carrot mash can be a bit wet. So not I carrot mean, mash, mashed carrots. Kind of, yeah. What's so like, do? just, so carrots, but like, just cut up a little bit, but not, not like, really blended. Not blended like baby food. Yeah. No, I get that. I'm not, I can give a take carrot mash, because it's become a quite a popular thing. Never used to be in my childhood, but now you get a Sunday dinner and there's always carrot and sweet mash on it. And I think, I like it, but when you put gravy with it, it becomes a bit sloppy. And I'm not a sloppy gal. With food, if it's sloppy, I can't do it. You know you me, don't I like, like a crunch. consistency at Ooh, all. And something needs to have a crunch to it. So I can't have soup. I hate soup so much. I just don't understand it. You, yeah. Do you remember I, the, the wedding we went to? Yes. You had two... No, I had two soups. You had two soups. I had two soups because you Because the starter was soup and, and I'm, you didn't want I'm not eating it. Although I tried. Every time someone puts soup in front of me, I try it. I go, right, let's do it. Because soup is a great thing It's really like. good. It's so convenient. You can... It's healthy. It's filling. But I just hate the idea that you take things that you should bite and crunch and you blend it into baby food and suddenly you have to drink carrots. That's mental to yeah, me. Yeah, but, but then you like smoothies. Yeah, fruit is different. Because <laughs> it is. It's ridiculous. It is. Because fruit doesn't... You, you, I mean, what, if I was going to throw something at you, would you rather me throw a raspberry and a strawberry or gravy? <laughs> fruit feels cleaner. Do you know what I mean? A raspberry is tiny <laughs> if you're going to throw something at I don't me. know what the psychology is. It's definitely a me problem because soup's very popular. It's done all soup, right. Soup is absolutely fine. It's, it's soup, succeeding. <laughs> soup, the stock of soup is very high. But I don't, I can't understand it. And I, that's fine. And I'm, I'm willing to accept that because I've tried many times and I can't do it. But it's fine. So yeah, carrot mash, going back to the important <laughs> point here. Carrot mash, too mashy. Too, too it's too mashy. Yes. What are we doing today? What are we gonna? We're gonna talk about daily routine. Okay. Okay. Because you know everyone has a day. Everyone has a routine. So talk me through a typical. Let's choose a random day. Let's go a typical Thursday. Thursday. Talk, talk me through your Thursday. Well, I don't really have anything set that I do mm. on a third any morning. To be honest, you do. You have a work. You do. Do you do a workout every morning or every other morning? Or I'm a bit flat, flexible with it flat. as well. I was gonna say lax and flexible and I turned it into flax um I'm quite flexible with it because as long as I do five workouts a week it doesn't matter when so yeah but what's your morning routine then? I you, so you, when I get up and go and do a workout what I, do you do? I feel every morning I genuinely I feel extremely lazy every why, why, morning why, why, what do you do I just sleep more I just stay in bed to be honest um yeah I, I wish that I I wish that I had a bit more of a morning thing. It's just not in my It's system. hard. Morning routines are really tricky to get in the habit of because it's the worst time of day. Who wants to get up? There the was morning? a time. I feel like maybe in in when we moved to this house, yeah. there was a there was a a couple of months where for some reason, when it was seven o'clock and the alarm went off, I got up. Mm. I shot up mm. and I I I would just I would still just not do anything productive, but I would do it downstairs. So I at least yeah. was downstairs. Yeah. I don't know why that's any different. Yeah. But it just is. 
Um, so I do want to at least get back into that. That would I think, be nice. I think if you have a good morning... I, I saw somewhere that, like, some people... It, I, but they must go to bed at like 8 p.m. because they have they try to have a full yeah. day before work so they'll get up at like four go for a run come back at five have breakfast do some hobbies learn you know look, practice your piano like do the, do a whole day of of your activity yeah. then go to work and but then you they must be going to bed at 8 p.m. I wish I had a an like an extra hour in the day yeah that was just get like some the government just say by the way what the government decide that um 25 hours now the day is 25 hours yeah. for some reason i don't mm. know how it works and i had an extra hour i would dedicate that hour to doing something productive like exercising maybe probably mm. Uh, mm, i don't know mm. but at the moment mm. any exercise that i do or anything i do it, i feel like i'm just taking that time out of doing something else even though I've got a lot of time But it's a really day. good thing to be... I, I feel like that, but when I'm doing exercise and when I'm doing my workouts, I'm like, look, this is one of the best things I can do with my time. Yeah, I could be doing something else, but this is the best thing yeah. to do. Exercise is undoubtedly, like, one of the best things you can do for your body. And even if I... Like, I just try to do half an hour of really high intensity, like, cardio five times a week and then yoga dabbled in because I've got so into yoga. I love yeah. it. And it, you just... And then once you've got... It's just building a habit, isn't it? Like, there are still some mornings where I do not want to get out of bed. And I just don't. Because I know... What I do sometimes, I wake up and I'll be so tired. And then in my head, I'll think about the workouts I've done. And I've gone, right, okay. So I'm on Wednesday and I've done two. So if I don't do a workout today... You have to do... Then I have to do it. And I work it out. And if I can, if my schedule allows me to, then I go, okay, chill. Because I still get two days off of exercising. Yeah. And it's just, once you're up, you're up. That's the hardest bit. I do think that when something becomes a routine, Mm. it's so easy to do. Like we get up, we do swimming on a Monday morning. Yeah. At seven, is that correct? And I remember the first time we did that, it, like, felt, it felt really <laughs> early. And it was like, we felt like we were the only people awake in the world. Yeah, like, it was like seven. Oh. It was like seven o'clock. Like it was still dark. And we were like, it was like winter time. Anybody out there? Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was weird. But now it's just, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. I, it doesn't feel like anything. Um, I think it's because we're spoiled. I think because we start work at nine from home, you can wake up at eight. You can wake up at half eight if you want. Whereas people who have to be at work at nine and they have to take an hour train you have to wake up at seven there's no choice you've got like you've got to wake up and so you're forced into a habit of yeah. getting up and going um but i think because we're from home we've got this kind of relaxed attitude getting up earlier than you need to feels like why the whole point of i work from home is that i don't need to get up early but now that i'm in that habit it feels like something i have to do because... yeah and if you stop doing it how would you feel oh i feel, I feel really rubbish if, if i don't do like a workout in the morning i don't feel as good i don't feel as energized and it just means that i can eat as much as i want and feel much less guilty about it because i'm just like oh i'm gonna have this this bread but then and i and i do agree with you yeah but i have never exercised really so it's basically that's your issue your issue is you have no motivation because you're so naturally yeah no that's that yeah you can't blame me i don't blame you at all because like i've not exercised basically ever probably no. you know basically and i still and you get told you're too thin yeah exactly I, I, so, oh, okay yeah no but that's what changed for me so my motivation for exercise as soon as i stopped making it about losing weight i want to do it so much more because if i look in the mirror and i think i look quite good i'm not going to want to exercise for the next like four days because yeah. i think i'm killing it whereas my motivation is how can i stay the healthiest and feel the best and like have the most longevity so that when I'm 60, I'm not breaking bones by falling over. No offense to six year olds, that's quite young actually. Now. And when I'm 80, do you know what I mean? It gives me the most like energy and like, come on, I can do this, I can do this, whatever. I do and agree. I and I will, I, if, if, if I had to predict me or you, who's gonna, who's gonna Be the best regret it person. when they're all like, I, definitely, mm. I, I would feel like I should do something. So I do want to, I do really want yeah. to. And whenever I do do any exercise, mm. which is hardly ever, but like usually early January because mm. of New Year resolutions, mm. etc. I feel I get really tired and I go, "Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I'm, <laughs> I'm thin. I'm thin. I'm fine. <laughs> Surely." Yeah, yeah. But you, it's, you've got to completely change your mindset and go. It's not about being thin. Literally, not yeah. about. No, that no, at no all. I agree. I agree. What would yeah. you say is something in your in your daily routine or weekly routine mm. that you could do better at? 
Um, Something you could improve. Uh, discipline for practicing things I'm not good at. A hundred percent. Like yeah. my French, terrible at doing my French, or like reading a book, terrible at doing that. Anything that's like, so any all my free time I have when I could do anything I want and I've got nothing to do, probably just go on my phone. Yeah. But I should spend some of that time doing things. Could you like do like books. it when you read a book? You do like it. Yeah. When you're when you are reading a book, you you enjoy it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. But then for some reason I feel like at that moment there are three people I need to be speaking to on my phone. But there's not. I know, but Cause I don't you, know cuz you don't reply to anyone. I know. <laughs> I I would say I, I would say I and I I should take on this advice as well. I'm mm. going to try and do this maybe. Mm. Here we go. I've just discovered something maybe. One try one. and find like thir- like 30 minutes during the day yeah. where you go, okay, well from 6 till 6:30 or something. In the evening. Yeah, in the in the evening. You just don't go on your phone. Yeah, and you'll find and it and if you happen to be bored in those six for those thirty minutes, you might just find yourself reading a book instead or something like that. Yeah, I might start doing that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's the least convincing. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll try it. I'll try it because I do. I I at Christmas time had a book. Got uh, do I have it there? Yeah, Jordan Hen- Jordan Henderson's uh, autobiography. You, I tell you what, you're a sucker for. Buying a footballer's autobiography, I'm not reading sticking it. it on that shelf. Oh, it makes a lovely decoration piece. I have loads. How many do I have? Have you still got the grass from the race course in the James Milner book? It is still in there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so it's drying. You, when when your football team Wrexham won the, the league. league, national league. What did you do with the grass? Not the whole grass. Not the whole. You took term. a bit of grass. I took a bit of grass pitch. and. And someone Kept told us, pocket. put it in a book to flatten it and dry yeah. it. I think my mum told me that. Oh, you're going to put yeah, it in a frame. Yeah, but that right, yeah, my sister used to do it with flower pressing. So what's the plan? You're going to put it in a frame? Put it in a frame? Maybe here. We're going to forget about that and it's just going to sit in that book, that grass. Probably, but... Because when know. are we ever picking up that book? <laughs> <laughs> Poor James Milner. It's a good book. It's just all about, it's like, twits. it's just tweets and stuff. A lot of footballer books... When, the, when I've heard you listening to them, or like, or like I've read, like, read it over your shoulder, it's mainly just, we went to Newcastle, we lost 3-1, that was a terrible game, then we moved to the next game and we lost 4-2. It's just a lot of numbers. Yes, and... <laughs> but for you, but but like I know the context of everything around that. Sure. Whereas, it's like if you read a book about dancing, I don't know, <laughs> singing or something, and, and then they said like, I hit an A sharp today. It's like, oh, <laughs> right, okay. Fair enough. I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. I would say I want to improve on my weekly routine would be just that, yeah, exercise. Yeah, and, and that's and I and I but I think for you, you need to find what the best version of that is because not every version of exercise works for you. So like, like is it is it going to a gym and having a personal trainer? Maybe is it doing that's this? It. <laughs> It could be running. Do you know what I mean? It could be like all. It could be. You need to go on my feet hurt when I run. (laughs) Yeah, I don't like running either. Yeah, but I think you will find something, and the motivation will. uh, will, It's got nothing to do with weight, and I think that should be everyone's exercise motivation. If I had to, if I had to put money on it, Mm. I would say that it's probably something to do with weights, because Mm. I don't feel like I need to slim slim down, down, but maybe I need to bulk bulk up a little bit. Yeah, maybe that, and that could be a fun goal. You could be like, well. Lots of people, when they go to the gym, they have this motivation of, like, I'm going to do this. I don't have that in terms of thinness, but I'll try and bulk or something. Maybe. You Let's see. Bench pressing me with one arm. <laughs> then, like, 50 dictionaries. Do you reckon you could? How many dictionaries could you pick up off the ground? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Because a dictionary's um, heavy. I'm going to go for, what, a paperback or a floppy back? What's it called? Paperback or hardback? Like, can you get a hardback? Yeah, sure you can. A dictionary, hardback but... dictionary, 50. No, a fa- paperback. Well, it's all the same. 50! <laughs> 50 dictionaries. 50! You don't like the yellow pages, Laura? <laughs> a, di- <laughs> a dictionary's not that big. <gasps> a dictionary's really big. Someone commented on one of these the other day saying, Why do you laugh so much? Is, is there something funny? <laughs> I think just I laugh at you all the time. I, I just know. find you very funny. Um, I th- so tell me about showers. Are you a morning showerer or a night showerer? I'm a bit of a mix of. Um, is there a is there a right answer? Because this is a hot debate where people will say one or the other. I can imagine having a shower at night is quite nice to p- feel fresh before going to bed. Yeah, like I always have a bath on a Sunday, 
And I and on Sunday yeah. night sleep, it's lovely because I just feel clean. But do you not feel like when you wake up, then you've got to shower again to like get yourself going, get you, like get the shake the, the bed s- off you exactly because in in bed you have like sleep in your eyes and you you're a bit stiff and everything. I, yeah, I feel like both. I, I like both. both. There's benefits to both. Some people do do both. Some people they say you've got to wash the day off you, so you've got to have a shower when you get in and before you get in your bed because your bed's nice and clean, and then have a shower in the morning to get the sleep off you. It's a lot of water. It's a lot of water, and I would feel like unless unless though, but my, maybe my, my my view of a shower is skewed because I stand in the shower for fifteen minutes minimum. Can you just uh, stand there. Just I do just stand there. I remember I saw... <laughs> on holiday once. I saw you in the mirror, and I just saw, I didn't I just saw your head, but you were just stood there in the shower like this. That's what I do. <laughs> it's my thinking time. It's what I think about just things. Just the water running over. What I used to do in the shower was I used to. Uh, I don't do this now because you tell me not to write on the on the yeah, leave like, the mark. The, yeah, on the glass. But what I used to do when I lived with my parents is I used to, um, if Liverpool were playing or mm. if it was a football game, I used to do the lineups like all the formations on in the on the mirror. Well, like a manager. Yeah, and I used to. Um, what else did I used to do? I used to uh, write down a to-do list for the day on the shower. All on the shower? Yeah, just like, just doing all that. Um, Or I used to do score predictions for the whole Premier League weekend. And then parents are like, get out of the shower. You've been in there for 20 minutes. So maybe if you have a three-minute shower, Mm. maybe that would be fine. Cold showers, I really want to get into cold showers. Oh, we tried it for a bit after we watched that documentary about how good cold is for you. Yeah, Wim Hof. Wim Hof called the ice... He's a man called the Iceman called Wim Hof. And he talks about... We watched this documentary where he takes celebrities and he throws them in cold situations, essentially. Because he says that being cold... Like, our bodies, if they're warm all the time, your heart just goes into this kind of laziness yeah. where it's not working whereas if you have that cold water on you it goes and your heart it's true it's true because really when you're good. on holiday well when we say we're on a holiday people listening to this might they might live in a very hot country anyway yeah but when we go on a holiday that's the only time we ever feel hot, hot weather basically well yeah we, we we kind of laze around don't we and we and kind you feel of, so much more tired yeah so imagine that all the time yeah i, I, I do do it sometimes with a when i leave the shower i'll make i'll turn it hot I turn it cold. Like a blast. Yeah, but I don't know how long you should do that for. I hate it. It's horrible. How long should you do it for? And it... also, how cold is cold? Because I turn it, like, just really, no, like really, cold. really cold. Just full cold. Well, that's really cold. I know. It's, <laughs> it's hard. I know. But, like, he says that your heart having to react to that coldness and regulate the temperature makes it work. So it's really good. And he's like, I trust him. He's amazing. He's, like, 68 and he's... Sort of doing is handstands he? in the if snow. If you just pulled that out of nowhere, 68. I, I don't think know. He's 68. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about how old Wim Hof is. I'll but... put it here. Wim Hof is this amount old. Let's see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, cold showers, lo- lots of people swear by them. Lots And lots of people have plunge pools. So they'll, in the morning, lots of very rich, posh people. Not everyone. You said loads of people. <laughs> loads of people of that, of that variety um, will get up, do their workout, do their yoga. And then get in a plunge pool in the garden, which is like an ice bath. I can't think of anything worth, worse than getting in an ice bath. That would feel horrible. Like, you see athletes who do it all the time, getting into them going, oh, like, imagine me. Yeah, that would be tough. Awful. That would be tough. That was on that documentary. They got the celebrities to just go into this plunge pool and it looked awful. Like, so terrible. Yeah, they went under the ice. Oh. Yeah, they went under the ice. So, okay, cold showers. What what else? What do you think about people who, just because they want to, choose to get up at, like, 4am? If they... I, I, I'm a night owl. Yes, so I'm a morning I, person. I, yeah, you're a morning bird. Is that right? Morning bird? Early bird. An early yeah. bird. <laughs> morning, morning bird. bird. <laughs> uh, and I'm a, I'm a night owl, so we kind of, like, our schedule's kind of like that sometimes. Um... Our energy levels, definitely. Yeah, oh yeah. So definitely. I wake up, I'm like, morning! <laughs> and yeah. you come to bed, and I'm normally, I've already be, already been asleep for and like I'm three like, hours. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, Yeah, I don't, I, um, if I could go to sleep at 12. Midnight. Yeah, which is when I do go to sleep, probably. Midnight. 
and then woke up before. Yeah, four hours. And, and yeah, and but it and if that was okay for me, yeah, I I would because I see the benefit in doing stuff from four till seven or eight. Yeah, I agree with the whole. You know the whole thing that you just said about yeah. doing a whole day's work. Yeah, absolutely. It's very antisocial, isn't it? Because you're well, going to bed seven. But eight. no, that's what I mean. If I could still have my night sure. thing. But yes, there was the, um, our friend from university. She used to get up at five. Five. And I get it, but I just feel like the rest of the world works differently. So if you're choosing to wake up that early, everyone else is. Um, they're not awake so it's yeah. kind of like you're you're not gonna if you don't mind not seeing people that's fair enough but i'd quite like to do my things with everyone else yeah yeah do you know what i mean it's really hard to be honest it's really really hard do you think there is such thing as a perfect r- routine weekly routine or do you think it very much depends on the person what do you think i think there are certain aspects of it that need to be in there but how you do that is up to you so, like, exercise, I think, is very important. That's why every time... And I, I, you, you get very annoyed with me. But every time you tell me any possible thing that's wrong with you, I go, eh, maybe you should exercise. <laughs> so you go, like, oh, I'm feeling a bit tired today. Maybe you should exercise. <laughs> every time, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I would say I'm, I'm quite proud of my... Not daily routine, but we, a weekly routine. You're very because good at organising things. Well, yeah. I'm very organised, yes, mm. I am. But in terms of just like, I think we have a lot of variety in the week. Mm. Like I forget what day it is mm. a lot because it's not every day is the same. We don't really, yeah, we don't have like a, on Mondays we do this, on Tuesdays we do this. It's like, yeah, and I like that. I think having variety in routine is very important as well. Otherwise you become stagnant and you become like, you're in a well, rut. Yeah, well, yeah, because if you live every week the same, mm. then people... Sometimes they'll like it'll be Christmas and then they'll go, Oh my I can't believe it's July. Yeah. And and it's because you've just you've just gone into autopilot. Yeah. So stopping yourself going to autopilot as much as possible is really important, I think. What's the perfect time to eat dinner? <sighs> we eat dinner early. We eat dinner early. I, 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 I'm not so I'm not gonna say that's the correct time because we eat at <laughs> half past four. Half past four. The Europeans watching, I know we're European. The mainland Europeans, like Italian people, Spanish people, are gonna hear that and they won't believe it. Because when as British people, when you go on holiday yeah. to like Spain and you I remember going into a restaurant with my family at like five and going, Can we have some dinner? And they say, Oh no, we're not op- we're not the kitchen isn't open for dinner until seven or six. Oh, wow. Like it's a lot later. They and I remember we'd be going home to back to the hotel at about nine and I'd see people outside restaurants eating their dinner. I was like, it's nine. It's nine o'clock. We'd be going to bed soon. And when I worked in Supper. France, I worked in France recently and I was there for a week and every night we went as a company, as a, um, a crew, we went for dinner. It was late. It was like 10. Well, it was always up to the producers to organise when dinner was and they're French, obviously. And I was the only British person there. And they'd go up to me, they'd go, um, Laura, we're booking a dinner for um, eight, is this okay? And I'd be thinking, eight o'clock, di- dinner. And I couldn't So when say, do they eat their lunch? I think everything's, I don't know. I don't know, but they, they were eating. An average time we were eating would be seven to eight for dinner. And yeah. I was starving. <laughs> so I don't know what it is. I would say the perfect time. When I, when I was growing up, it was about half five, six. Yeah, growing, I think, it. well, it's different for normal people who have normal jobs because they don't get home till about six. Yeah. We finish work at four and we're at home. I, but I don't know, why do I get hungry at four? Because we're used to it now. Because we always eat straight away. Because we, cause we finish our work and we get hungry now. And we then... could if we wanted to. Although it is good. Because another thing about routines and health is apparently the longer you don't eat for before you go to bed, it's better for your digestion overnight. So if you finish eating for the day at half past five and you don't eat again until eight the next morning, you've got a big window for your body to digest the yeah, food. That's like... 16 hours exactly mm-hmm. and your body doesn't have to work doing the digestion while you're sleeping so you get better sleep however if you eat a massive meal at nine in the evening it, your body when you're sleeping yeah. is having to like digest and it's doing all that work so actually it's better to finish if anyone listening to this is uh and it's nine o'clock where you are where you are listening to this and you're eating your spaghetti bolognese i mean there's lots of research some people say this some people say this like there's there's arguments for everything, isn't there? Like people will say, well, yeah, the better to do this. So, do you like your routine? Yeah, I really do. I think we've 
not to be cocky, but I think we've mastered the, the routine. Well, Nearly. I really I, I, I need to just get into my workouts. My cleaning routine oh, yes. is the best thing ever. So one of my students taught me this. So it, so I used to clean for an hour on the weekend. And it was like a lovely Saturday. And I would be thinking, okay, I've got to clean an hour. And it was just clean, clean, clean. And that's not too bad. An hour cleaning is not too bad because we haven't got a big house. But then my student told me about this method where you, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you clean for... Weekdays. Fif- yeah, weekdays. You clean for 15 minutes every day and you clean a different... Actually, I think it's 30 minutes, but I changed it to 15 because I only need 15. But you either way, you do a small chunk of cleaning every day and you do like kitchen on Monday, Tuesday bathroom, Wednesday bedrooms, Thursday living room. living room, Friday, and then no cleaning on the weekend. So you do all your cleaning in little chunks. It's very manageable because I'm living my day and I go, oh, I just need to do 15 minutes of cleaning. Boop, 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 boop. Rather than one big chunk. Oh, it's great. It's called the organised mum method, if anyone wants organized to Organised mum. I am not a mum, but I am organised. So I think it works for me. Do you think that somebody can be too routine? I think I'm a bit like this sometimes. What, too structured in, in their routine? Yeah. Yeah. You've got to have some spontaneity. I, are we spontaneous? I don't um, think we are. It's very rare that we just last minute just go, should we do this tomorrow? But We've all we always know what we're doing the next day, don't we? Yeah, but but we also never miss out on anything because we're not spontaneous enough. We've never gone. Oh no, sorry, we can't do that because we've organised that we're going to play chess. Like we've we've do you know no, what I mean? no. Like if we didn't plan nice things to do, we wouldn't do anything. But we do plan ahead of time quite a lot. That's good. I've got a film. I've got a film on my calendar for on a random Tuesday night in November. But it must be it's, good. It's July. <laughs> because people look at, like, I post I post things on Instagram, for example, and people, people say to me, like, you have a great life, Laura. You and Bez are always going off doing things. And I think that's not because we have loads of money. It's because we plan. Yeah. But to be fair, like now, like, so we went to a, a cheese festival. Yeah. Um, courtesy of your mum for my yes. birthday present on... Friday. S- Friday. Last Friday. And you said, I love food festivals. I think they're great. And I thought, I'm pretty sure I know of a food festival that's coming up in October. Yeah. So what do I do? Google it. Oh, it's okay, coming up in the it. 15th. I haven't booked tickets or anything, but yeah. I've at least put it in my calendar. Yeah. So I know that's there. Because if you don't, you just forget about it. Yeah. And then when it comes to it, 15th of October rocks up and you go, uh, oh, yeah, the food fe- Oh, yeah, mm. it would have been nice to go to mm. that. Um, and it was like $20 each. Like, I mean, 15 pounds, but about $20 each. And I think that's, a lot of people spend that on cigarettes for the week or like drinks for the week. And I think instead of, like, it's about putting, because I don't want people to look at our lives and think, oh, they must have lots of money. We we don't, we're not, no. we're, we're not doing nice things because we can just afford to do whatever we want. It's because we choose to put our, our money instead of like going out clubbing, which a lot of people do. We don't go out clubbing. We go to cheese. We go to cheese. <laughs> uh, yeah. You've got to plan things far in advance so that. And also, it doesn't yeah. feel like you've spent the money if you buy something. Yeah. Like if I, if so if we so let's imagine I can buy tickets to this food festival in October. Yeah. If that's ten pounds each. Yeah. When we go, it'll feel free because mm. we. I, we did I, it so long ago. I forgot that yeah. I spent twenty pounds in July. Yeah, and I think it's so important to have things to look forward to in the future. I think if you're just living your life. And you've got nothing coming up that's different. Everything is just the same, the same, the same, the same. And that, again, does not need to cost money. You could just say to your partner, how about in two weeks' time, do you want to spend a day at the park? Do you want to go to the park? Let's take a frisbee or a ball or something. Let's take a picnic and we'll have a whole day at the park. And you put that in your diary. And at the very least, if you're having a hard day at work, you can go... And if it's raining, if it's raining... You at least you can go. You do an indoor okay, picnic. Okay, well, when's the yeah an indoor picnic? Or you, or you go. Yeah. Okay, when's the next sunny day? Or the next sunny day is Wednesday. Yeah. Are we free on Wednesday? Yeah, let's do it on Wednesday. Yeah. And people and we've had this discussion before where like our like people our age might look at us because we're only twenty six and I think a lot of twenty year olds feel that they have to be this kind of like I'm still this young spontaneous person and they might look at us and go all right, mum, like, why are you acting like such old people about it? Like, well, we're going to do this at this time. Because that's how you do nice things. That's how you have fun. Like, if you've got a group of friends and they go, yeah, we'll all meet up at some point, it'll never happen. I feel very grown up sometimes when, yeah, when we're trying to arrange something. Because it feels weird because it will be, 
May, mm. and you'll be trying to organise something for August. But you need to. But you need to, because if... So let's imagine you do, in May, yeah. do that, and you invite 10 people to our house. Yeah. Chances are, if because you've done it in such a such advanced time, yeah. all those people can come. Yeah. So then, in August, you have people go... It's so lovely that we're yeah. all here. But if you did it three weeks before, two weeks before, yeah. a month before, yeah. maybe four people could come. Mm. And then, yes, great, four people are there. It's but you might be good. going, oh, it would have been nice if this person was here. Mm. Or, oh, can you imagine if we were all here? Yeah. So you just got to do it. But I think people confuse being chilled and relaxed with being like... Um, Sorry, what, what am I saying? Yeah, people think that if you are organised and plan things, it means that you're high maintenance and tight and like... But not necessarily. No. It's just, you just put these things in place so that you can do them and there's no no worry. Because I feel very relaxed and chilled because I plan things. We, yeah, we, when we if we go on holiday, we'll do a lot of like planning. Because then it's so chill like when you're there because you know what, what to do. The most stressed people I know are the people who don't plan and yeah. are not organised. Those are the people who are like rushing. I've got to get the train. Oh, Imagine, I'm late. Yeah. Like, they're yeah. so stressed. Imagine if we went on holiday. Imagine you go on holiday yeah. to uh, uh, Valencia. Yeah. And I go on holiday there, right? Yeah. You've planned everything, right? Yeah, but, I've, down, but, down. I have, but I have left like... Maybe there's like one day where for the afternoon I haven't put anything in there and I've gone like explore. But yeah, I've yeah, still, yeah. So I'm still being but let's imagine. Let's imagine you look online and you see oh there's this there's this castle that is um, ten miles away mm. and you've made some effort and you've researched you've looked it up and you found that there's a bus that takes you and the bus leaves at ten thirty yeah. in the morning on the Wednesday when you're there. So then you go there. You go bye bye. You've gone on a nice day out. Yeah. And then we talk about our holiday, and yeah. I didn't plan anything. So you, you say, going around in oh, did you go to Valencia as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you see this castle? Oh, no. Where was that? Where was that? Oh, you needed to get this bus. Oh, oh I didn't see that bus. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. And then I end up just milling around, yeah. just walking around Valencia. I'm sure it's a lovely place. But I think people think that, like, oh, in life, to be spontaneous and to, to just you know, experience life as it happens. You just don't plan anything. See what happens. But you, there's a balance. You need to plan enough so that... Like, for example, at the cheese festival we went to, we didn't plan everything we were going to do at the cheese festival, but we knew we were going to be there. So at the very least, like, we, we did this lovely thing, but then it was all new to us. We were spontaneous. Like, just have a balance. And if you're... you're the most stressed and flustered people I know are the ones who would say, no, we don't need to plan. Just go with the flow. Those are the stressed people. Yeah, because they end up, when it comes around to it, they're like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I didn't know this was happening. Yeah, and well, how do I get there? Like, oh, the bus. Oh, this bus that I didn't know about leaves in, in 10 minutes. We've got to run. Like, run, 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 run. Whereas we, we know this bus is coming at this time. So that's good. And yeah. we can have a big sense of superiority. I also, I also <laughs> do you think it's good to be bored? Because I don't think I'm ever bored. And, mm. and you can make that about phones and things like this, of mm. course. But I think I'm never bored because... I'll look ahead in my in my schedule for the next week. Yeah. If I see an empty evening yeah. where there's there's I've got nothing to do. Yeah. Usually I'll ask my friends if they want to like well, like talk, come play play Xbox or something like that mm. or uh, any, anything really or or if not I'll maybe think about what we could do or let's go to the cinema or something yeah. like that. If there's no films on I'll think okay well maybe I can watch a film on my own or we can watch a film together if mm. I don't fancy that okay, let's play chess or something like that. And if we don't play chess, we can go for a walk yeah. or something. But I don't like, and it doesn't happen very often, but I don't like it when in the evening I've just got nothing to do. And, mm. I, and I just think, yeah, yeah, I'll just I'll just see what I want to ne- do. nothing ever happens. Nothing ever when happens. When you go, we'll just have a free evening. What do you do? You sit in front of the TV and you don't do anything. And, and you're usually watching something that you actually don't really care about. Yeah. You know, and it's like, well, why wouldn't you spend that time watching something worthwhile? Why didn't you plan ahead and go, oh, I wanted to watch this film. I've wanted to watch this film for ages. Let's watch it. I, I It's so funny because, like, I, we're quite passionate about this subject, but I do genuinely think that a lot of people, if you feel that your life is um, chaotic, you don't feel like you have enough... If it's I, like I some self-help like, podcast. Yeah, but I think a lot of people could improve their life by about 5% yeah. if they just did a bit more planning um, and it's only 5% but any little percentage you can get to make your life better why not 
So tune in yeah. next time for the next self-help slash learning English podcast. Self-helping English podcast. So what, okay, speaking of, what's our plan for this afternoon? Do for we this have afternoon, a plan? Well, I've put in my calendar, <laughs> <laughs> I've put in my calendar, record podcast, which is what we're doing Done. right now. Tick. Um, I've also got my podcast to plan my lessons for next calendar, week. On your calendar, not your podcast. On my, yeah, sorry, yeah, on my calendar to plan my lessons for next week. Yes. Chess, uh, we're going to play chess. We're going to play chess. And we're going to do some admin. We're going to do some admin. I'm going to have a bath. Because <laughs> uh, it's a Sunday. I always yeah. have a bath on a Sunday. Um, and if I have some time, I might start my next <gasps> video game. What's your next video game? Ghosts of Tsushima. How exciting. I'm See, that sounds like a great that. plan. Well, what are you gonna do? I was gonna shake your hand then. What am I gonna do? I'll leave my I'll leave my hand there. Um, I'm going to do everything we just said, apart from instead of a bath and game, I'm going to do some yoga. I think. Fantastic. There you go. Awesome. Pleasure as always. Thank you very much. I'll see you in about five minutes. I'll see you right now. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. See ya.